Tabbing out detuners in table edit can be a little bit challenging since there are a few different ways you can go about it. In this video, I'm going to be using a two bar section from Earl's breakdown to demonstrate an approach that uses a combination of bends and pitch changes. The first thing I like to do is rough out the notes and timings of a section. Next, I'll apply two bends to the notes that the tuner will affect. Notice the arrows pointing at the question marks. At this point, these bends don't know which notes to resolve to. To fix this, I'm going to change the pitch of the second bend, which will have an effect on the first bend as well. To change the pitch of the selected note, go to the Note menu and choose Pitch Change. The keyboard shortcut is Command H on a Mac or Control H on a PC. Now we need to change the selected B note to an A note to represent the effect of the tuner being engaged on the previous note. Drop the pitch two semitones or half steps. Now watch what happens to the first bend after you click OK in the pitch change window. Since the second note starts off as an A note, this causes the first bend to glide down one whole step, which simulates the D tuner. Finally, the last step is to tie the first B note of the second measure to the previous note to signify that this note is not picked. Select the note, go to the note menu, and choose tied note. This simulates the tuner being tuned back up to the B note without actually picking it. When you're all done, this is what you'll end up with. Ooh.